So we're just going to disregard that it's actually River Mama, but I keep seeing River Mama. We're we just going to disregard that. Mbaka di on Okay? I don't know how many times I got to tell you. I don't know how to say anything right. Not even in Creole. So I apologize. I apologize. Okay? I don't have the really amazing Jamaican accent. Okay? So, so carry on. Carry on. Also, my lip gloss. It's not popping. It's not popping in this video. It don't look good, eh? Don't come for me. Just pay attention to the content of the video. Thank you very much. Allo, we bonsoir, or shall I say, wagwan. To all the Jamaicans that clicked on this video, shout out to y'all. What's good? Which poppin'? Thank you so much for being here. Jodia, today we are going to be talking about River Mama and the Old Bridge. Now, I have absolutely no idea why I did not do this video sooner, but we're going to be talking about Jamaica's native mermaid. Now, there is so much to unpack here, and I might have to do multiple videos on this, but comment down below if you're here for it and if you have your own stories about river mama or just any other stories about any mermaids or water people from your own native land i would love to hear them down below now when it comes to river mama river mama can actually be compared to la Silen, medlo and or mami wata most people hear about river mama and it's basically the same thing that we also hear about other mermaids in the caribbean and or africa absolutely drop dead gorgeous and they will make you lose your mind most of the time you will want to go live with them just like the ayaras okay and let's just say right now i can't say anything right i can't even say anything right in creole so i apologize in advance right you will want to live with them you will want to basically give your life to do anything to be next to them because they are that drop dead gorgeous but they are extremely dangerous in the case of river mama if you see a river mama you're probably going to die because river mamas put you in a trance for the most part if you see a river mama more than likely that's it for you okay most of the time they're not going to be there to enchant your life they're not going to be there to welcome you with open arms they're only going to be there to take your life or save your life because most of the time they're not known for doing really good deeds most people in jamaica have lost their lives to river mamas either they've been kidnapped and taken under the water or they have lost their lives due to very horrific accidents and that is where old bridge comes in now chances are whether you are from jamaica or not from jamaica you have heard of the old bridge okay old bridge has been talked about for quite some time now because it's always in the news about being cursed now again i have no idea why i haven't talked about this sooner but here it goes so old bridge was constructed in the 1700s and no one really knows when it was constructed but most people think it was constructed around 1724. Now the most interesting thing about this is it's actually one of the most oldest bridges in Jamaica actually constructed by slaves. It's very very sad because these slaves work hard. When I'm telling you hard, so hard to the point where many of them lost their lives and were not given a proper burial. And this is very very important to the story. Now a lot of these slaves were hard to literally source gravel, lime, sand, and other materials to build this bridge. And they worked so hard to the point where, like I said, they lost their lives. And a lot of their body actually still remain at this bridge, under the bridge, around the bridge. And there's also said to be other materials at this water and at this bridge. Now the old bridge is actually located in the parish of St. Catherine in Jamaica. And it crosses over the Rio Cove. The bridge is actually very, very small. It spans about 14 feet. It's not that big at all. And the people who live around it are very, very, like if anything, I'm talking about adamant that it is haunted okay there is no doubt about it they are not arguing what a damn so and if it's not haunted they're saying that it is protected by river mama now i want to know what you guys think down below do you guys think that river mama is just an extension of mommy wata or medlo aka la Silen type situations or do you think that each region just has its own respective water people or mermaids because it's a very interesting concept 
that. Now, the whole thing here is that there are people that did die constructing this bridge. And there's lots of strange occurrences that have happened with this bridge. Now, the bridge was constructed, like I said, with sand, lime, stone, and other, you know, elements of the earth. And of course, those are not good things to build the bridge with. And now over time with the elements of weather and stuff, the bridge kind of did wither away and things like that. But a lot of people think that that was the spirits of the people that destroyed the bridge. While a lot of other people think that it was River Mama. Now, some people also believe that it is a conjunction of the two. There was also beams on the bridge, metal beams destroyed over time. While other people believe, again, spirits of the people who built the bridge. Now those beams have been replaced with wood beams. There's been numerous occurrences that have gone on with the bridge that are kind of like a little strange to go on with the bridge nonetheless, okay? Like I said, numerous lives have been taken with the bridge, not only with the construction, but also just on a day-to-day. -day. Another legend and myth with the bridge situation is that River Mama does not let anyone with bad intentions cross the bridge. Now you guys are probably thinking, why would anyone with bad intentions cross the bridge or go near the bridge and why would she even care? Now, it is believed that at the bottom of the Rio Cove that the bridge actually spans across, there is a golden table, like literally a table made of solid gold that sits at the bottom. And for forever, okay, for literally centuries now, there's been people that have literally risked their lives to get to the bottom of this river to get this golden table. And River Mama, as well as the Les Set, the ancestors, have guarded this table with their lives. Now, to be honest, I have no idea what the big deal is with this damn table. It's just a fucking table. I don't know who put the table there. I don't know what the big deal is with the table. Jamaicans, help me out. What's the big deal with the table? Personally, I feel like they just don't want people fucking with their shit. I feel like it's just a table. I, I really don't think mermaids are out here killing people for a table. At the same time, they probably just don't want people fucking with their shit and fucking with their waters because humans ain't shit and all we do is fuck shit up anyway, but hey, who knows? I just couldn't find anything about the table. But nonetheless, that is a main reason why they kill a lot of people that try to cross the bridge with bad intentions. So most of the time when you see lots of people dying while crossing the bridge, it's because they have bad intentions and they're trying to go in the water to steal this table. Meanwhile, there's lots of people who've actually come to the bridge to pay respect to those lives who have been lost while trying to cross the river, while trying to build the bridge back in the 1700s to pay respect to River Mama because at the end of the day, River Mama is said to be a water spirit and River Mama is said to be a well-respected mermaid. I'd love to hear what you guys think about this. Not only has the bridge fell apart numerous times and they're constantly putting it back together again like it's a Humpty Dumpty bridge, but people literally die all the time. And when it comes to authorities and the government, there's many locals and people who are from Jamaica in general who feel like the whole story of, well, it's reckless driving. These people are just, you know, playing with their lives at this point. Because most of the time when these accidents happen, it's because of people literally going to the bridge when there's really, really bad weather, to be quite honest with you. Most of the time, it's not them just crossing the bridge at normal times, you know, where it's it's nice weather and the weather's calm. But there are some very weird times where people are crossing the bridge or going to the bridge at regular times and they are dying. So a lot of people, like locals and just people from Jamaica, just don't buy it. They feel like the government is really pushing this story so that people don't pay attention to it. They feel like this is just a bait story. They feel like, no, this is some bullshit. And many people are calling for this bridge to be shut down because too many people have lost their lives. And to be quite honest with you, yeah, I, I don't understand it. So many people are dying on this bridge because when there is bad weather, there are two other bridges that people can take. I have to read this from my phone because y'all know, like I said, I don't know how to pronounce it and ride, okay? The alternative routes are through Barry and Sligoville. Therefore, why not just tell people to go through there instead of, you know, allowing people to go through this bridge where all of these strange accidents are consistently happening. Even at one point, the floor of the bridge was just withering away and they had to go take parts of another bridge to reconstruct the floor. It just, it, it does sound 
sound a little strange. The bridge is very old. 1700s, that's a very, very long time ago. For materials, it was built by slaves. I completely understand that. But nobody finds that just a tad bit where just a tad bit yeah personally i do feel like there is a river mama because y'all already know how i'm set up i believe in everything i believe in aliens i believe in mermaids i believe in tiny people fairies all of that and i do think that there might be spirits at play there but why would the spirits want to do something malicious to the people that do come to the bridge personally i do not think there's a gold table at the bottom of the water i do believe humans are really that dumb enough to do some shit like that and i do believe that if there are spirits and or any type of river mama or mermaids or anything like that in the water they were definitely not going to let anyone take it because humans are greedy pieces of shit and to be quite honest with you why would ancestors or anything like that want to hurt people that are crossing the bridge with bad intentions i feel like just like with mermaids i feel like ancestors to be honest can be angry with us the human beings ancestors died for nothing for real they died so that we could have freedom, so we can have education, so we can have literally the freedom to do what we want though, right? I feel like learning my history, learning where I come from, learning that I am Haitian, and being Haitian American at that, learning that literally people die every day trying to get to America's shores to have a better life, that I need to do better. I have the opportunity, I am self-employed. I wake up every day and I can do whatever the hell I want. I can sleep in every day and a lot of people feel like, you know what yeah your ancestors died so you can sleep in every day but i choose not to do that because at the end of the day my ancestors died so i can do something better with my life i have a bachelor's i have a master's and i run my own business if i wanted today i could stop right now i could choose a corporate nine to five nonetheless i choose to do good i choose to do better i choose to help people i choose to counsel people i choose to do my heart's content because i can and i feel like at the end of the day that's what my ancestors died for but when you look at the human collective in general when you look at a lot of these caribbean countries and if you just look at Jamaica's history as a whole, it's crazy. When you look at Haiti's history, I'm very sure a lot of the ancestors are mad as shit. Because a lot of us, in an individualistic perspective, are not living to our full potential. A lot of these ancestors died for absolutely no reason. I'd be sick if I was a slave right now because we done did all of this, bro. I done died putting this damn bridge together for my lineage to look like that. Look at that. Look at this. I'd be bad okay especially if like my direct lineage wasn't doing nothing they weren't successful they didn't take the opportunity to get an education to get a trade own a business get a high paying job or at least to just to just do something to their heart's content to follow their dreams you know and i feel like I, i'm not gonna lie i feel like whether we're talking about god our ancestors spirits anything i feel like they probably are mad at humans right now i would not be mad if jesus brought the damn flood we are walking disappointed appointments as a collective as humans okay and even if we're talking about an individualistic standpoint how much of our families can we say are legitimately successful as a whole many of us cannot me speaking for myself i'm doing the damn thing but if i'm looking at my family as a whole pathetic <laughs> it's sad a lot of those people risk their lives building that damn bridge and what do they have to show for it you know even if we're just talking about nature wise look at what people put in the water you know and I'm not talking about just Jamaica, I'm talking about in general. Look at what people do to the water. Look at what people do to the environment. It just sucks. So if we're just thinking about that perspective, we're just thinking about how people have just chose to demonize our roots religions. You know, we just choose, oh, well, Christianity is the right way. Everything that we brought here is not okay. It's horrible. It's the demon. It's the devil. Don't want it. And of course, everyone has their subjective opinions about that, but I'm very sure it ancestors are not too happy about that either because a lot of those people came here with those religions and now we sit in here and talk about some that's demon time make it make sense you know so i feel like ancestors have a lot to be mad at do i think it justifies murdering people no but i feel like they have a lot to be mad at besides the fact that people are trying to get golden tables from the bottom of a river <laughs> you know so comment down below i'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions down below i feel like i brought up a lot of things that a lot of people don't think about but of course that's what i'm here for i would love to hear your thoughts on river mama as well because she she she, she, she out here. She's out here. <laughs> okay. I would love to hear your stories on different types of water spirits as well as mermaids from your respective regions because y'all, those are very, very interesting. With that being said, make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, do all that. If you guys would like to support me more, make sure you guys join the Patreon. Love you guys so very much. Thank you so 
so much for supporting me. Make sure you guys join the main channel where you guys can get rants, reactions, and commentaries on black social issues where I do stories and vlogs and lifestyle content based on my personal life. Make sure you guys are still subscribed because you to be playing games. Peep the description box for more. Get your merchandise. And I'm going to see y'all next time. Bye!